Caitlin, the countdown's on to the start of the new league season. How much are you looking forward to the competitive football starting? Super excited. It's something that's been missed by myself and my teammates and can't wait to get out there and, and put wrong the right put right the wrongs of, of last season and to just have the opportunity to be back in this shirt is is an honour that's never taken lightly and just can't wait to for those moments and that opportunity. Has that been one of the things that's been said in pre season about obviously we came agonisingly close to winning a first title last season? You want to make sure that's not the case come the end of this season? I don't necessarily think we've we've dwelled on it too much. I think individually we all took our moment to uh, to deal with it, uh, so to speak, and to use it as motivation and to get us through our own prep and then we came back ready to go in, in this pre-season. I mean, the drama of the end of the last season obviously ended up in heartache for us, but I also think it was a, an indication of the mental strength of, of the team and you as players because you had to then get back up for a big game at Hamden, which you did. Yeah, of course, like I said, th those emotions were used greatly um, and it was the positive of that day will be the fans that turned up, the fans that, that cheered us on till the end and the fans that stuck by us when the result didn't go our way and they're like no other and they got behind us in the last two games in a way that I've never seen before so I also can't wait for that to grow this season and, and yeah, just like I said, an honour to represent the shirt. Yeah, people have often seen that iconic picture of you in the, the, the famous black kit when you're just a wee girl, obviously a lifelong Celtic fan. As you say, even if your parents have said, listen, one day you're going to be playing at Celtic Park in front of so many fans wearing the hoops, I mean, if, effectively it's a dream come true. Oh, the biggest of biggest dreams. Um, I live it every day and, and sometimes I do have to pinch myself and remind myself that, that this is what my nine-year-old self dreamt of and, and to, to walk out at Celtic Park with with this shirt on and to have my family in the crowd. It's it's something that could make you cry if you thought about it too much, but um, yeah, it's just something I, I never take for granted. And like I said, it's a privilege and an honor and, and it's just the greatest feeling. And one of the, the great bits of news, you know, come the end of the season is the fact that you've committed your future to the club signing a, a, a new three-year deal, which I think for everybody who, who's watched you play for Celtic, it, it's been fantastic news, I think, for every Celtic supporter. Oh, I'd like to think so. Uh, but yes, uh, just uh, like I said, the honour and, and the privilege that it is to play for this club. And, and it's not just for the football, it's for the community that this women's team is creating. It's it's an intimate group of people that are, are passionate and they, they will to do well this club and, and this badge and, and our team. And it's something that I hope to grow and I hope to be a part of. And that three-year contract on the table was something I couldn't turn down knowing that with the trajectory this club is on, it, it is great and it's something, like I said, I want to be a part of. And obviously in the coming season you're going to see that iconic uh, pink headband dotted around the stadium. But, you know, in terms of being a role model, that must be a strange but really nice experience to see that all these young girls really relate to you. They want to be, they want to be the next Caitlin Hayes. Uh, I think sometimes if I thought about it too much I could be overwhelmed because um, it is a pressure that's like no other. It's a position that I've never really been, been on, but... Yeah, I, I say it all the time, but this pink pre-wrap isn't mine, it's ours and, and it's something that girls have resonated with and because of that they'll continue to wear it. Um, but yeah, it's it's a, it's a privilege and it's an honour and I don't want them to be Caitlin Hayes, I want them to be a couple of steps be better and hopefully just be a, a role model is something that I can do for them and, and be a positive influence, I guess. Yeah, I mean, you've set a high benchmark. Obviously there's team targets for this season, but you know, Last season, you were outstanding. You were the Celtic Player of the Year. Your, pl your fellow teammates voted you a Player of the Year. Your, your peers in the, in the Scottish Premier League voted you a Player of the Year. So that, that, you've set yourself a high benchmark for this season. Yeah, of course. I've put myself under a bit of pressure to perform, but I didn't get those awards because of because of my own performances. I got them there because my teammates like, made me look good, and that's genuinely the honest truth. Um, sometimes it was a bit of an imposter syndrome moment, but... Um, look, I'm thankful for having them, but ultimately we didn't get what we want, which was that league title. So that's what this season's about. That's what we're going for this season. And that's what myself and my teammates will work hard to reap the reward of. I think there's a bit of characteristic Celtic humility there. I think you're, you're maybe underselling yourself <laughs> after that performance last season. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. Just, just want to be better than last year and we want to be better than last year and, and we want more than what we had. We obviously have those emotions of, of what we didn't get last year and those would be motivations, but... Like I said, we've moved on, we've we've put our focus into this season and we'll keep our head down, work hard and, and hopefully do this shirt justice. 
and one of the things that fans will be looking forward to as well, Champions League football for Celtic again, and that, that's a, obviously a target that you want to progress further this time around. Yeah, of course, it's where the shirt deserves to be. It's, it's the stage that it deserves to be on and and can't wait to, to be there with my teammates. It's something we've worked hard for and it's something we look forward to. Um, but like I said, the work's not done. We want to progress and we want that night at Celtic Park. And first game of the season and away game against newly promoted Montrose, they'll obviously be looking to try and make an instant impact, but important that, that we go off to a winning start. Yes, of course. Respect all, but fear none. Um, we will we'll work hard and, and we'll hopefully do have a great week in training and then we'll turn around and turn, t see what the challenge Montrose has to offer and hopefully, like I said, we'll reap the reward of the three points. And, you know, a few changes in personnel. How have the, the new players settled into life at Celtic? Yeah, they love it. Um, we obviously went, just got back from Gran Canaria, um, which was a great week away for no distractions, no phones, just intimate time together to, to grow and bond together. So there's some great girls there, but great players, but even better people. So, yeah, thankful to have them on board and, and hopefully together we can come up and have a great season. Well, we're certainly looking forward to it, but all, all the best for the season ahead. Thank you so much. Thank you.